Well, good cloudy afternoon to y'all. This is a special video for me. Miranda and I are celebrating a little anniversary here in 2020. One year with Miranda, and it all started right here in Burleson, Texas. In fact, I am here where I bought Miranda here at the Motor Coach Outlet, buyherepayhere.com. We're gonna look at some of their RVs here because again, if you're looking to get yourself into an RV, they made my dreams come true here. They'll finance anybody, all right? Come on in here in person and talk to Nathan in there or go to buyherepayhere.com and check out their inventory. We're gonna look at a couple of their rigs here while I'm here before getting down to the lake. Look, all kinds of fifth wheels. Uh-huh. I'm parked right on the other side of a Prevo bus. I mean, they have really upped their quality of inventory since last year. They need to sell some of these. A big Class A diesel pusher right there. Let's go take a look at this beauty, the Camelot Monaco. Well, here's the inside. Look how big and spacious this one is. Woo-wee! For me, it's really nostalgic being back here. Because like I said, one year ago, I was walking around in all these different RVs before I chose Miranda the Murata. Makes you smile. People ask me all the time, hey Eric, where's a good deal on an RV? Where'd you get your RV? I'm serious, I don't, I don't plug these guys enough. They, they, they really hooked me up with a good RV and, I, and I'm happy. And they've helped a lot of people on the road. I can almost guarantee you, if you've been putting off getting an RV for whatever reason, these guys will put you in one, all right? This uh, Class B was just sold. Yep, that one's gone. Lots and lots of bumper pull trailers. And, you know, they got an RV in every possible price range here. It's tax refund season. <laughs> I'm just saying. Now's your chance. You got no excuse. I want to see you on the road. No, this was a really happy one year welcoming. I'm really glad I spent a little more money to get a newer RV. You guys have been with me, have seen mechanical issues I've had in the past. I'm gonna need to knock on wood here in a second, but one year, nothing. I had the uh, leaky manifold gasket. Other than that, Miranda has been a dream on the road and it has made for some much better quality content on this channel when I'm not broke down all the time, right? Well, we're gonna go on south about an hour. I'm gonna head over to uh, one of my favorite spots in Lake Whitney and I might be meeting up with some friends down there. Let's do some driving first. Uh, yeah, so I'm parked and it's time we have a talk. One, a talk I was not expecting, but I am camping here with, with some friends, by the way. We got Frugal and her truck camper over on that side and Lola lost on land again. Um, so hanging out with some friends here, which is nice here at Lake Whitney behind me. And uh, boy, okay, let's go on a walk. Let's have a little talk, guys. So um, it had been my intention throughout March to be live pretty much at this point, but not to be live where I'm at right now. Um, as you probably, some of you may have been confused, but not Patreon because I've been pretty <laughs> uh, live and honest on Patreon, but with that delay at Six Flags, a lot of people were like, dude, every theme park in the country is closed. <laughs> well, yeah, like I said, I beat it by two days before Six Flags shut down. Yeah, literally two days after I bought my annual pass, that park closed down after Disney and everything else. Um, but to give you a little insight here, when I had to come back from Florida to fix the bank card here in Texas, uh, I, I had an opportunity to get some hard to get tickets at the time. And so right now I'm supposed to be at the Texas Motor Speedway watching the race weekend from inside the track, turn to camping. And as everyone's probably heard, every single type of outdoor sports activity or gathering of 50 people or more has been temporarily canceled in this country. So, um, and to put that into perspective, in my lifetime, I've never seen anything like this. Anything like this. The only thing I can remember is when gas prices shot up because there was a little bit of panic, but I am not a professional expert doctor or virus, so I'm not gonna talk about the virus in this video, but obviously I can talk about 
what's going on panic wise you know i mean with the whole toilet paper shortage and everything i have no idea why people need to buy 12 cases of toilet paper and everything on the shelf every time they put it back on the shelf it's just panic you know and toilet paper specifically takes up a lot of room inside of a semi truck cargo so if people are buying abnormal quantities of it all of a sudden obviously we're, we're going to have some issues right but this country shutting down everything has affected me in a strange way because i have basically sat here in texas for two extra months waiting for the nascar race and you've seen that i have just gotten poured on record-breaking rain thank goodness not right this second but uh all i can say is i've been looking forward to this texas race and now although they initially said that nascar was going to continue without fans they've now canceled nascar as well and uh they have told me officially at the texas motor speedway that i should stay around for another 30 days because they can't refund until the race hasn't been rescheduled in 30 days so they want me to stick around until the end of april now not gonna happen first of all I told them you can just take my money at this point because uh, I'm not waiting around another day in Texas if I don't have to. So that and, and then Six Flags membership and um, I also became a Disney annual pass holder. As you know, all the Disney parks are shut down until further notice also. So I'm just kind of sitting here like, have I made some poor choices? Possibly. Uh, it is it is possible that I have I have sat here and I have planned too much and I have spent too much money on things that are outside of my control and now I'm just sitting here like what the heck do I do where do I go from here no oh, boo hoo me I know I'm just sharing my life guys my life is different than other people's and just wanted to let you know where I'm at and how I feel like I may have screwed up a little bit but it's all good uh, I'm gonna make the most of it gonna hang out here for a couple more days through the weekend with uh, Lola and Frugal and uh, I'll decide here what to do from here you know a good morning everyone a couple more days have passed and uh, Frugal and Lola have moved on I have remained out here a couple more days we got some really bad rain and thunder here and today it's finally drying out I had the cover on the motorcycle to keep it from rusting out here in texas and i've had a lot of time to uh think and ponder and plan my next move hope you all are doing well out there crazy 2020 it has turned out to be so far holy cow oh and also after lola left i moved the rv a little closer to the shelter so i'm in an official campsite campsite two here and uh, I was out here yesterday when it was pouring rain and I was just sitting under this with a view of Lake Whitney out here. And it was, it was nice to have a little covered space. But I do have a few things I wanna talk about, some conclusions I've come to. Uh, as you probably heard, most of the country right now is practicing social distancing, which is pretty easy for someone like me, an introvert, living in an rv with a cat i would say it's pretty easy to stay social distanced the only ironic part of it for me is that you know this was not supposed to be a social distancing time for me with all the uh, parks and plans that i had made and um it's an unprecedented place that we're in right now having so much shut down for a period of time I do feel like we can use part of what's going on over in China and, and Italy, Rome over there, to see what it could possibly be like here in the United States. Or it could be totally different. But I mean, they're, they're having lockdowns and stuff, and I, now I'm starting to worry about stuff that I wasn't worried about before, you know? I expected some commodities and food items to be out of stock. Toilet paper definitely caught me off guard. Toilet paper makes no sense to me, but whatever. Uh, the closing of any event or gathering of a certain amount of people, I didn't see that coming. I don't think very many people really saw that part coming. And it has definitely changed how I'm going to vlog and YouTube here. But I also think that YouTube is one of those careers uh, that is virus proof. <laughs> because I can always go find something, film it, and upload it. 
somewhere, you know. However, I, I, I now have a new worry, and that is the lockdown. So if they start locking down cities, states, or the entire country, is this really where I want to be? Uh, Texas in, in April? Uh, let me flash this up on your screen real, real quick. I, I, April is a very wet month in Texas. And uh, with the heat and humidity and me having to close all the windows and getting no solar, having this monster boondocking solar system would make no sense <laughs> in an apocalypse here in Texas. Because I got to run the generator all day anyway to keep cool and to charge the batteries. So I don't, I don't think Texas is where I want to be right now. Right now, I don't know. I just know for sure I got to leave Texas tomorrow morning. I also know from uh, talking with my Patreon subscribers the past week and a half that there is absolutely no sympathy there when I complain about races and Disney and Six Flags and all this canceling my plans. Nobody seems to care about that. Like, well, I don't know, I still wanted to share it with you so you understand why I've, why I've sat here in Texas for no reason for two months. It's because of all that that now I don't have. You know, I know there's much worse things going on right now and. People have a lot of worries out there. It makes me feel bad. I'm sorry for what you're going through. I'm sorry for small businesses and people struggling at home because their kids can't go to school and they can't work because they got to be there with the kids. There's a lot of, of places that this is affecting right now. I understand that. I am simply just sharing my life because this is my channel and I think some of my viewers might care about how I'm getting through it and what I'm doing. Understand? Yeah. And uh, if you were in my position, what do you think you would do? And I mean, really, really, really think about that now. If you were in my position and you were in an RV that has everything you really need, except for sunshine and solar right this minute, but what would you do? You know, if you were in my position, would you want to stay in a, a rainy, wet area like Texas right now? And then it's going to get super hot immediately. Like May 1st, it's just going to get 90, 100 degrees here. So... That's why I want to leave. That's why I want to be somewhere else. And I want to be close to a big city hub, but still have the ability to get away. I'd also thought about the fact that like Thousand Trails. Thousand Trails camping seems to be virus proof as well. Uh, they have all but said that in an email, except that they could be closing common areas like the clubhouses, the fitness centers, even the possible restrooms and showers. But there's people that live there permanently, so there's no thousand trails would never just say okay y'all gotta leave so i'm really glad i have that opportunity there are some here in texas i could use like i said i don't want to be in texas there's some in in florida there's some up in the northeast but it's still too soon to go up in the northeast so these are all options i'm weighing and today is a major day as i sit here at lake whitney and make a decision on on what the heck i'm going to do which includes one more stop down to livingston I literally had to order toilet paper on Amazon because it's now been 11 days that I've not been able to find any. Thank you, Lola, for the two rolls of TP, by the way. I do have the bidet in my new toilet. I could just shh. <laughs> and you know, we are now to the point now where I can't even joke about the virus. Like I had all these funny things I wanted to say and it's just, it's no longer appropriate but I got so many indoor activities in Miranda, which I, I like to think that I've, I've done this on purpose because I know that bad weather and bad things can happen out of your control and you gotta have entertainment. So I mean, with Dish Network and getting hundreds and hundreds of channels with the Southern Sky, of course, Netflix and Amazon Prime movies and TV shows and Disney Plus. I've got my PS4, I'm gonna bring out my old systems. I've got my NES system, my Super Nintendo system, and my Nintendo 64 system with all the games with that. I'm gonna, <laughs> I'm gonna have no trouble uh, staying entertained in the RV uh, during this virus social distancing period, for sure. But still, you know, I wanna travel to different areas and I wanna share some content on YouTube because I know many of you are actually stuck in a strange position where you're at home and you don't wanna be at home. You wanna be at work or you wanna be doing things and you're kind of stuck watching YouTube. So it is my intention to go find some creative content to share with you on the road. And uh, I'll just keep, uh, being safe as much as I can. Um, but yeah, 
like I said, I got some thinking to do, so I'll let you know uh, where we end up in my very next video. Oh, and also, no matter what, from here on out, I am going to try to get some kind of a video uploaded every 36 to 48 hours during this uh, stuff that's going on here in the country, just so that I can stay up to date and, and live with my updates from here on out. So you guys be well, be safe, take care, and Jackson and I will see you very soon. Bye, guys.